Good evening, uh, welcome back to another tutorial, this time for KiCad. So in the previous video we made a tutorial on LTM, how to do rules on a PCB, how to set your track clearances, your track widths, and now we will do the same video but for KiCad. So we'll be using this example that we used for all our videos so far, the LiPo battery charging circuit. So as you, if you guys want the circuit, it's available on GitHub. Uh, all you have to do is just join our Discord channel and then all the files are there, the links and everything, uh, free of free of course, free of charge. Um, so if you guys want this design, just go pop up there, say hello, and it's all available. So if you guys are ready, maybe open KiCad uh, so you can join me. It's always nice just to do it together, even though it's not live, it's but it used to be still doing it together, of course. Uh, so stay tuned for the video. So you're probably wondering, what do I mean by rules? So luckily in PC Design, you can set your own rules. So don't break your own rules. Um, so the rules are only, you'll get your default rules and then you'll get rules that you set according to some specification you want to meet. So for example, when you start working with power electronics and you're working with high voltages and currents, then your track width and your track clearances will have to be a certain value to be able to handle or be capable of handling the high currents and voltage. So that's what I want to focus on today. So this is quite low voltage, 3.3 volts, 5 volts. So that's not really an issue, but it's very good to know how do I change my rules in my PCB. So to do that, we go File, Board Setup. Here we go, delete this, I've done this before. So here you can see what we have, clearance, track width, fire size, fire drill, micro fire size, micro fire drill, differential pair width, differential pair gap. So the clearance is the distance between two pads or two tracks. So let me paste the track. So it's that distance there is clearance. If I paste a track, uh, there, and then I want to, you can see it makes like a ghosty thing. That's very ugly routing, but that's the clearance there. So that distance probably 0 0.2 or whatever it's supposed to be. So if we go to board setup again, you can see the clearance is 0.2, so that value there will be 0.2. The track width is the thickness or the width of my track, it's that over there, that's 0.25. Via size is, if I place a via, my via size is 0.8, the big diameter, and then my via drill is the inside. Via drill is 0.4, which is the inside, that gold part. Microvise and micro drills, microvise size and microvise, or microvise, we don't actually use that often. So the difference is the drill is a mechanical drill and the micro via one, they use a laser. So they can get much smaller diameters with a laser. Uh, it's used for BGA components normally, but for a hobby person, you hardly ever can use it. It gets very expensive. You can read more about it, but it's basically using a laser instead of a mechanical drill. And then differential pair width is when you have high speed signals and you're doing two tracks at a time uh, called differential signals. And then this will be the width of the track and that will be the gap. I hope that makes sense. If it's not, these guys just comment or send me a message and I'll try to explain. Maybe my typing is better than my speaking. So let's get started. I'll delete this one as previously. So let's say for example, I'm just going to delete all the tracks. So delete it, del edit, uh, global deletion tracks, deletion, deletation. I don't know. Great. So I want to say that V bus has to be thicker than my other tracks. So to do that, I go board setup. I make a new rule saying V bus width. Can I spell? Luckily the word is over there, so I don't need to know how to spell. And I make this, I wanted one millimeter, something crazy. So that is fine there, but this is a class. This is not saying that a certain net has to be this class. So to do that, I can see all my nets are here on the right hand side. Then I go V bus, click on it, V bus width. Okay. Now you'll see when I play, place a track, so let's say I take VBAT, it's nice and thin. I think if you double click on it, it should be some 0.25, it's our default. But now if I go to VBUS, look how thick that is. 
so automatically it made it one millimeter so this is very nice when you do a more complex design and you know your track has to be one millimeter and sometimes we forget this will force your tracks to be a certain uh, size certain width so let's say example we can play with the clearance so um, let's try with the b-bat and now I'm very original with net names so clearance I don't want it closer than 0.5 then again I have to say yeah v-bat v-bat clear okay now let's see if that worked so if I go place track track over there and I say V bus let's rather take ground I want to get another track close to it you can see there so it already starts pushing it way early so let's see if it actually worked so if we take a stat I'm just gonna move this here <laughs> So you guys can see the difference. So if I take this, look how close I can get. But look how far I can't get very close to VBAT. So this is the default clearance. And this is the new clearance that I just created. How cool is that? Just another tip is don't ever make your track width thicker than a pad that is connecting to, connected to. So your track width is only as good as its weakest or thinnest part. So it doesn't help you make a track like this, like the bus. I made it very book big, but you can see this is actually bigger than that track. So it's overdoing it, and it can't even connect here because this track is only a certain distance. So it only helps to make your track as thick as your pad, because that is your weak link anyway. That is the thickest the track can actually be. We spoke about track width uh, clearance with respect to a net. So with respect to the bus, the bat. But what if I want to say that my stat is not allowed to be close than a certain distance to my VBAT? Unfortunately, I could not find a way of doing this with respect to a rule. Um, so if I go here, there's no way you can, as you can see, I can actually click there for board setup. I don't have to go file. But there's no way where I can put two nets against each other. I can put a global big rule, but I cannot put a net. So to combat that, or another way around of that, is to use keepouts. So on the right hand side here, I can use, here you can see, add keepout layer. So if I want, I can just keep out tracks, keep out bias, and keep out copy pores. I'll keep this for now. So I can draw a line here. That means there will be no track in that um, area. So you can see it cannot connect there. It and also has its own it also respects its own rules with clearance so it won't go to the edge there's always be some some gap there so if i want the bat to get closer there for some reason i cannot i cannot get there so then i can maybe just so maybe i can just make this longer and then this track will never get close enough to the stat it's just the way of working around this um, it's not the perfect place to do it like this but it's just so you understand the concept so keep out is very good to make sure that two tracks or two yeah two tracks is not too close to one another so keep out is your friend another cool thing you can do is you can import your settings from a previous project so if you already made a bunch of rules that you want to keep in different projects you can just import a project um, let's just go drone uh, we're also busy with the drone guys just waiting for the the motors so then you can copy the design rules you can copy the net classes so you can actually see what you need and you import the settings so i use default on the previous one and there you can see all my rules are there so you only have to do it once and then you can just keep using it in all the projects so that's a brief introduction of how to set up rules for your pcb in kicad uh, so we spoke about the clearance between tracks between uh, pads we spoke about thickness of the tracks you can make it nice and thick but don't make it too thick it doesn't help it's thicker than the pad that you are connecting it to we spoke about keep outs how to place a keep out and then we spoke about all the different 
settings you can have your track width, your wire size, your micro via laser and differential pair. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, just let me know in the comments. Uh, also, what other videos you'd like to see with KiCad, with PCB design in general. Uh, so guys, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic night, a fantastic day. Enjoy that PCB design, guys. And if you guys are doing some nice projects, please share it with us. Uh, or if you have questions, we're always willing to help. Always give all the knowledge we have. Might not be a lot, but it might be enough. Until next time, guys. Bye.